welcome to another video what is cracking well i've just checked into pan pacific hotel path in western australia i've traveled all the way from melbourne and this is where i'll be staying for a week because i have to quarantine i have to self-isolate a few days ago it was cut down from two weeks to one week but i wasn't lucky enough because in two days it will all be scrapped off but i don't mind apparently in this side of the country covid19 is still a thing when the rest of us have moved on to uh, russia versus ukraine Away from that, since I'm in Pan Pacific Hotel, I'm interested in what different hotels have to offer. This one, I like it, but it's not the best I've ever been to. I'm going to show you what this one has to offer. This is my third day in quarantine and I just received breakfast and honestly I don't know what to expect anymore because I haven't liked the food a single bit here. Alright, let's see what food I have for breakfast or what breakfast I have for breakfast. So I said this looks like coffee but it is surely cold so I don't know what it is. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. This, this is orange juice. If you want to kill me, if you want to murder me, give me orange juice because it's not my thing. I hate oranges. I don't even eat oranges. Yeah, so good riddance. Now, the next thing I have is um, a croissant. Nice croissant. I like croissants, so no issue with that. And then I have, I've taken a bite of this, it's a, a hash brown and uh, eggs at least today it's well cooked because i don't like the runny stuff the runny yellow stuff on the eggs that's cooked no it's not cooked i don't consider it cooked i consider it as something that you can use to induce vomiting so today i'll be eating the egg so this breakfast for me i guess it's not as bad as i thought today it's not but i won't be doing the orange juice excuse me there's fruit here as well which is good what is it fruit salad so breakfast not bad today uh, I'm not impressed but it's something that I can tolerate good thing is that I've got some uh, something here that I bought yesterday from McDonald's it's a fried crispy fried chicken burger and a few chips that I leftovers from last night so I decided to order because this crop here was what I got for dinner I couldn't eat it I tried but I couldn't so I had to order my dinner. Let me get this breakfast started. Hi guys, it's uh, my first day out of quarantine. I didn't manage to complete the quarantine because uh, it's been scrapped off today so I have been excused from uh, completing full time but I happened to have a trouser that needed to be mended so I was looking for a place to have it mended and then I stumbled upon this shop and oh my goodness I've never seen anything like this because if you are in Perth you need to come to this place because she makes absolutely stunning dresses I'm so impressed she's very diverse like from here you can see these African uh, fabrics she makes beautiful dresses so you can come in here I choose the fabric that you want the material that you want and uh, she's gonna do a good job for you so I'm just gonna take you through a sample of dresses that she makes um, if you have a function a wedding 
a dinner this is a place to come and purchase your dresses i've had a look at everything that she does this is someone that does her job with a passion she loves her job when you come in here you can see some form of organization because she's sectioned everything into color tile and it's absolutely beautiful just taking you through a little bit of what she does and this is not something that she buys and sells in a shop she makes it from the scratch she creates everything from the scratch as you can see absolutely beautiful dresses if you have a wedding if you have a function if you have a dinner party this is the place to come and get your stuff this is the place to come and get beautiful in fact this red section is my favorite because I love red and then the maroon or the burgundy you love black colors this will be your section this part as well these are a few blues now this is what has stunned me the most so if you want to as made she custom makes a dress for you and you can also just come here and go through what she has already made so you can uh, go to her instagram page and have a look i will drop down her instagram page on my screen and you can have a look at it you know what i just want to say like i want to say thank you to African community a lot because yeah. I build this business because African people. That's all I want to say. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Hello people, I've just landed in Kananara, a three hour flight from Perth and I'm standing here because there is a problem with transportation. Apparently I think I was booked for transportation but they are nowhere to be seen. Whoever is supposed to pick me up, whatever shuttle company is supposed to pick me up, no one even knows about them. It's sweltering hot like i'm literally sweating i can feel the sweat dropping down my armpit and i don't know how long i have to wait but i have to wait and it is ridiculously hot it's uh, right now it's 38 degrees celsius and you cannot believe how humid and hot it is my body is just sticky never experienced this so uh my hotel is about maybe 10 minutes away from I think I see something coming <sighs> so I'm inside my hotel room well as I told you this place is sweltering hot what I'm going to do is sit in front of the air conditioner that's the only way it can help because if I step away from it if you're wondering this I got a mark by the way now let me tell you this because you need to know a few weeks ago my friend had a wedding and i put on my wig trying to look all beautiful i use this to go to b or b to go I, I really there's just a two there's a go and there's a two b or something like that this is a product that is used to attach your wigs to your forehead it's the glue that you use to put your wig on this thing burnt my skin, it burnt the shit out of me. You see, it left a mark here, which I'm hoping is going to fade away soon because I can see there's an improvement because it was really bad. So when I came home and I removed my wig, I could feel that it was tender around here and it was a bit sore. And then over a few days, it just started getting darker and darker. So I call that burning, the shit burnt my skin. It wasn't the first time using it, by the way. It wasn't the first time I've used it before and it didn't do it but this time around it did a number on my face now I'm trying to heal it I'm going to put it up there hello people good morning here from Kananara I have woken up I've already gone out to purchase bedding because where I'm heading to there are no shops to buy bedding it's 8 a.m. in the morning and it's already 27 degrees Celsius this place is gonna burn me alive and I'm gonna be walking around smelling like a barbecue I'm gonna be roast so it's time again to start another journey uh, another drive for three hours then I'll be at my final destination I will see you there <laughs> 